So let's take a look at a couple of strategies for working with imported parts. I'm going to drag and drop in a Parasolid file. And you can see in the Feature Manager there are no errors on the import. It was a clean import. And then I'll go back and drag in one more. And this time when I'm prompted for import diagnostics, I'll say yes to this just to make sure. And you can see clearly we have a nice green light, so there's a nice clean input. Import, that's looking good. Now, I want to defeature this a little bit because there's a little too much detail for me that, that uh, is going to slow my model down. So I want to get rid of those threads. Let's just sketch on the front plane, and I'll just draw a rectangle. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle that I can then anchor to the, uh, the center axis of this part. I'll just drag it to the approximate size of the thread. Doesn't have to be exact here because this is an imported part anyway. And then we'll just revolve that to consume that complicated geometry of the thread. And the reason we're doing this is it will, uh, over the course of a large number of parts in an assembly that all have lots of complex little, little faces, those add up. And it's the complications of all those little faces that, uh, that can lead to slow performance, sometimes can lead to crashing. So if we don't need a lot of level of detail, let's go in and, and remove some of these unnecessary features by just kind of uh, modeling over top of them. So here I'm just going to extrude over those, uh, those splines as an example of how we can take uh, something with a little bit of complex geometry and simplify it. Now let's switch over to another part. This complex housing, we're going to take advantage of a tool called Delete Face. It's under Tools, Face, Delete. And even though this is an imported part and doesn't have individual features like fillets and cuts and so forth, we can use that, that uh, Delete Face command to select individual faces and delete and patch right over top of them. So here I am selecting the three faces of that notch and it just deletes them out. So you can see in the feature tree I have this delete face feature. So now you can suppress or unsuppress that feature to show it back up again. And you can delete multiple sets of faces all at once. So here just to take advantage of, of uh, to make this go a little bit faster, I'm going to right click and select tangency and then I'll choose delete face. And now within the same command I can select tangency on other face groups. And so in one in one shot I don't have to create individual delete face features. I can get rid of all these notches all within one shot. Okay, so I've got those all selected. I'll choose delete and patch, and now they're glossed over. So now in the feature manager tree, I can suppress or unsuppress that delete face feature and either show those slots or not show them. So any features that I don't need, like lots of fillets or holes or things like that, I can get rid of with that delete face. Now what if I want both ways though? Well this is where we're going to create a configuration. So we'll right click on the configuration tab, add a configuration, and I'm going to call it simplified. So it's basically two versions of the same part. I have the default version and the simplified version. Now in the default version, I want those delete face features suppressed. That means I want the full level of detail there. If I switch back to the simplified configuration, I'm going to unsuppress those other features so that I don't have the, the keys or those, those key slots. Let's do the same thing for this shaft now. We'll create a second configuration called simplified. And then I just want to choose when to turn those features on and off. In the default configuration, I want those features suppressed so that I see the original level of detail. In the simplified configuration, I want those unsuppressed. So now I can just quickly toggle back and forth. So in an assembly, if I have lots of parts with lots of complex geometry, I can, if I go through and defeature them, spend just a couple of minutes to simplify out some of those complex features, then it makes it easy for me to switch out the version of the part that I want to see. And let's try this uh, in an assembly. Let's take these two parts and put them in, in an assembly and see how it would work. So here's a new assembly. I'm going to insert my casting. That, remember, was an imported part. And then I'll also insert my shaft. That was also an Im imported part, but we've saved them now in the SolidWorks format. Okay, we'll just drop that into place. Maybe apply some mates. Whatever you would normally do with your assembly, that's fine. And then what, what I'll show you how to do is toggle between the two variations of each of these parts. Notice as I click on this shaft, a little pop-up menu that says default, I can drop that down and now I can choose between the default or the simplified configuration. 
So if I have a lot of parts that have a lot of levels of detail, even though each part itself may not be all that complex, when you add it all up, that can cause performance issues, maybe sometimes some stability issues. So it's nice to take a little bit of time with those complex parts, defeature them, and then you can quickly toggle in an assembly which version you want to see, the default or the simplified version. And it will really improve your performance and cut down on the memory load and the amount of time it takes to rebuild your models.